yes, TRRC in the right direction or not? You analyze for yourselves. Fellow Gambians, we stand at a moment of great challenge and all across the country, a chorus of voices is swelling in a demand for retributive justice, an eye for an eye. As Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. said, the old law about an eye for an eye leaves everybody blind. Considering the approach the people of South Africa took to begin resolving the searing racial conflict in their country, centuries of segregation, oppression, and abuse theoretically came to an end with Nelson Mandela's election as president in 1994 an abolition of the apartheid. But these great symbolic events did not by any means heal all of the festering emotional injuries of the apartheid years. When people were herded into ghettos, abused, imprisoned without trial, and even disappeared by the regime. A legal storm threatened some who were newly in power and wanted Nuremberg trials of those responsible following the example of the famous Nazi war crime trials. Others proposed a general amnesty, letting bygones be bygones. For thinking South Africans, neither alternatives was acceptable. We could very well have had justice, says I, Bishop Desmond Tutu. Retributive justice and had South Africa lying down in ashes. The Nuremberg trial approach would likely have meant civil war. But the victims cannot simply forgive and forget. General amnesty was really amnesia. Tutu said, finding that option equally desirable, none of us possess a kind of fiat by which we can say, let bygones be bygones. The past far from disappearing, laying down and being quiet has an embarrassing and persistent way of returning and haunting us unless it has in fact been dealt with adequately. Get past this negative thinking. Why so South Africans? To get past this negative thinking, why so South African leaders ask themselves what outcome they really wanted, what kind of a nation they envisioned for the future. After much soul searching, they adopted for what Archbishop Tutu called a third way. Amnesty to individuals in exchange for a full disclosure relating to the crime for which amnesty was being sought. In other words, if preparators would publicly disclose the whole truth about their crimes, they would not be prosecuted. So a new institution was created, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which is the TRC, with Gambia, come with the version of TRRC. Those seeking amnesty for their crimes appear before their commission, before this commission, and tell their stories. The victims get to listen and tell their stories as well. Then when all parties feel that everyone's truth has been told and heard, the commission grants amnesty. The TRC probably seems very strange to non-Africans, but is deeply rooted in African tradition of Ubuntu. According to Archbishop Tutu, the third way of amnesty was consistent with a central future of the African well tan Shiong. Actually, it's a very strange word because it's, it's, it's South African. And uh, uh, actually, I was, I, was, I was one time living in South Africa and uh, it's, it's, it's sometimes their words are very strong, you know, especially the Zulu language, you know. What is known in their language as Ubuntu. Recall that Ubuntu means that I cannot be truly human unless I fully see and value your humanity as well. I cannot demonize you, which means to literally see you as inhuman, 
demon and still remain myself human. Of course, the TRC is widely criticized. Where is justice? if people do not have to pay for their crimes. As Mark Gopin points out, they just want to be heard, not necessarily to see their opponents hung. Everyone has the right to be heard. The law is not flouted, but the law takes its account of their suffering. Interestingly, those who were hurt most by the apartheid, that is the Sosa, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, some kind of group in South Africa. You have the Zulu, you have the Sutu, and you have the Sosa, and some other tribes. And all the people are most satisfied with the outcomes. Of the TRC process, a major study found that acceptance of the results of the TRC was much greater among South African of African descent than that of amongst those of European descent. The Sosa were far more likely to accept that the TRC uncovered the truth and brought about reconciliation. Um, Tutu said, justice fails to be done only if the concept we entertain of justice, whose chief goal is to be punitive, there is another kind of justice which is restorative justice. In the spirit of Ubuntu, the central concern is the healing of bridges, the redressing of imbalances, and restoration of broken relationship, a seeking to rehabilitate both the victim and the perpetrator. Who would be given the offense? Who would be given the opportunity to reintegrate into the community he has endured by his offense? Justice is being served when efforts are being made to work for healing, forgiving, and reconciliation. My fellow Gambians, I am appealing to all of us to consider Gambia, and we should all be aware that her peace and stability lies in our hands. For the socio-economic welfare of the last baby that will be born in this land of honor and glory, the Gambia, it depends on how we conduct our affairs today. If a country like South Africa can get past their trauma and move on and reach this level of development, I think we, too, when we look deep inside of ourselves, we will find the answers right there. It's just a matter of healing, forgiving and reconciliation. May Almighty God Continue to keep an eye on Mother Gambia, our homeland, we all love and cherish, and the rest of the world. Amen. The Patriot Babu Karjeng. Thank you.